So in today's video, the center of discussion is the 10 principles of economics. But this time what we'll be doing is we'll be memorizing the 10 principles of economics. So we know the theory behind the 10 principles and we know what they mean or they esen the essentially the significance that they hold for an economic student or anybody who's interested in the subject of economics or is pursuing the subject of economics. But what happens if somebody asks you the 10 principles of economics? How will you say the 10 principles of economics one after the other? So that is what we'll be doing in today's video. I have divided this video in 10 levels, as in a game. So we have level ups to make this more interesting. So first we start with level one. And in level one, what I want you to do is I want you to recite or uh, commit to your memory a particular phrase. So this is easier than uh, committing to your memory 10 different phrases. That is the 10 principles of economics. So to begin with, we will remember this phrase, the old meaning in this message gains some more truth. Learn the 10 principles of economics and in order in fact. So let's recite this a few times. So with me, I want you to recite this phrase if possible aloud. So let's start. The old meaning in this message gains some more truth. Every time I say a word, I will pause and I will wait for you to repeat the word after me. So we'll do it a couple of times. Uh, the old meaning in this message gains some more truth. Let's do it again. The old meaning in this message gains some more truth now with me repeat with me so it's the old meaning in this message gains some more truth the old meaning in this message gains some more truth so we more or less have uh, revised and remembered or committed to our memory this phrase, the old meaning in this message gains some more truth. What I want you to do in level two is remember three numbers for me. So those three numbers are four, three, three. I know it sounds a little random for you to remember three numbers when I'm talking about economics, but please bear with me. I want you to remember four, three, three. And uh, what I want you to do is this, if you have noticed till now, the phrase, the old meaning in this message gains some more truth. It has 10 words. The old meaning in this message gains some more truth. So those 10 words, what I want you to do in level three is, I want you to divide these 10 words into three sets. The first set will contain four words. The second set will contain three words and the third set will contain three words. So we have the old meaning in that's four words for the first set. This message gains the second set, which has three words and the third and final set, which will have the three remaining words, some more truth. So if we divide this phrase, the old meaning in this message gains some more truth into the three sets, each having four, three, three and words, uh, four, three, and three words. Let's divide that statement using commas. It Grammatically, this does not make any sense, I know, but for the sake of, for the time being, let's do that. So we have the old meaning in, pause, this message gains, pause, some more truth. So that's level three. So let's recapitulate. Level one was the old meaning in this message gains some more truth. Level two was the number 433. And in level three, as you have in front of you, we have the old meaning in the first set, which has four words. This message gains the second set, which has three words. And uh, the third set, some more true, has three words again. So we have the old meaning in this message gains some more truth. That's the level three. Let's upgrade to level four. And what I want you to do is I want you to open your hands in front of you 
widely the 10 fingers prominently and very distinctly away from each other. And what I want you to do is just let's first remember the phrase that we learned, the old meaning in this message gains some more truth. And I want you to allocate each word, each of these 10 words in this phrase to each of your 10 fingers. So starting with your left hand, your thumb of your left hand, I want you to allocate the word the to your thumb. I want you to allocate the word old to your forefinger of your left hand. To your middle finger of your left hand, I want you to allocate the word meaning. To your ring finger of your left hand, I want you to allocate the word in. To your little finger of your left hand, I want you to allocate the word this. In your little finger of your right hand, I want you to allocate the word message. For your ring finger of your right hand, the word gains will be allocated. For your middle finger on your right hand, the word sum will be allocated. For your forefinger of your right hand, I want you to allocate the word more. And finally, the truth, the word truth will be allocated to your thumb of your right hand. So if you see the if I recapitulate, the level one was the phrase, the old meaning in this message gains some more truth. So as you can see, each of the 10 words in the phrase have been allocated to your 10 fingers of your hand. So we have level one. Level two is we had to remember the four, uh, num we had to remember the three numbers, four, three, three. And if you think about level three, we had divided that phrase into three sets. What I have done here is if you note, we have the first four words in the first set in color code blue. The middle second set, which has three words, color coded red. And the la last third set, which had three words again, has been color coded green. So we have the first set of four numbers in our thumb, forefinger, middle finger, and ring finger of our left hand, which says the old meaning in. In our little finger of left hand, little finger of right hand, and ring finger of right hand, we have the second set of three words, which is this message gains, color-coded red. And finally, in our middle finger, forefinger, and thumb of our right hand, we have color-coded green, the third set of three words, the final set of three words, some more true. So what I want you to do is remember this setup and we'll repeat this exercise again. What we'll do is we'll open our hands in front of us, 10 fingers prominently away from each other. And what I want you to do is every time a word appears on the screen, you close the corresponding finger and you remember the notation, the, the colors, the set, and the first few levels that we discussed. So level one, the word, level two, the number or the set, and level three, the position of the word. So let's do this again. Clear hand. Let's start from the uh, your thumb on your left finger. So I want you to first close the fingers according to the words that they appear, and I will be saying out loud the phrase, and I'll pause after each set. So I'll take two pauses in between the three sets. So what we have is the old meaning in this message gains some more truth. So we have allocated the 10 words on our fingers, on our hand. So uh, move on to level five. And I'll just recite the phrase, the old meaning in this message gains some more truth. I know I'm repeating this phrase way too many times, but this is the only way that we can remember, or at least one of the ways that I can think of in remembering the 10 principles of economics. So I have again color coded them into the sets that we discussed, the blue set of four words, the red set of three words, and the final green set of three words. What I want you to do next is note this phrase, note each of the words in this phrase and think of the first letter of each word. So if we consider the old meaning in this message gains some more truth and if we look into account the first letter of each word, what we get is T from the, O from old, M from meaning, I from in, T from this, M from message, G from gains, S from some, M for more, and T for truth. So what we'll do now is 
in our previous level we had allocated the 10 words in our on our on the fingers of our hand this time what we'll do is we are allocate the letters these letters are more difficult to remember because they don't hold any meaning so it's easy if you allocate the words first and then reduce or boil them down to the letters so what we'll do is we are just completely same setup as the words we'll just shorten the words into their first letters and in the same process what i want you to do is every time a letter appears on the screen i want you to fold the corresponding fingers on your hand we'll do this just once if you want you can pause this video and uh, practice it a couple of times so what we'll do is t o m i t m g s m t so that's the letters done now moving on to level six as we knew from before the phrase the old meaning in this message gains some more truth and if we look into account the letters we see uh t o m i t m g s m t now what i want you to do is put allocate particular words to these letters so you remember trade off with t you remember opportunity cost with o you remember margin with M, you remember incentives with I, you remember T trade with T, you remember markets with M, you remember government with G, you remember standard of living with S, and you remember money with M, finally you remember trade off with T. So we move on from the old meaning in this message against some more truth to boil it down to T O M I T M G S M T, and then we have these 10 words. You can pause this video once and practice it, but we are, since these are all economic terms, as you can see, we are almost at the end. So I want you to remember the 10 words trade off, opportunity cost, margin, incentives, trade, markets, government, standard of living, money, and trade off. Finally, what we'll do in level seven is uh, corresponding to the 10 letters and the 10 words that we found out from each of beginning with each of these 10 letters. I want you to allocate each of the 10 principles of economics. So the first principle is people face trade offs and we mentioned trade off as our first word. The cost of something is what you give up to get it. That's the second principle of economics and we have opportunity cost. Rational people think at the margin and margin is what we took as our third word. People respond to incentives, incentive being our fourth word. Trade can make everyone better off, trade being our fifth word. Markets are usually a good way to organize economic activity, but market was our fifth word? No, it was our sixth word. Our seventh word was government, which gives rise to government can sometimes improve economic outcomes. The eighth word was the standard of living depends on a country's production. Ninth being prices rise when the government prints too much money and the final 10th one was corresponding to trade-off society faces a short-term trade-off between inflation and unemployment in 11 8 what i want you to know is the color coding so we have blue red and green color coded in this uh, level and in level 9 i divide these set of 10 principles into three sets as i discussed before so the first set of blue four blue principles is the four principles of economic decision making the next three sets of red principles are the three principles concerning economic interactions and the final three green principles stand for the three principles that describe how the economy works as a whole so finally as a recapitulation we have level 10 which states the three 10 principles of economics which are people face trade offs the cost of something is what you give up to get it. Rational people think at the margin. People respond to incentives. That gives me the four principles of economic decision making. Moving on, trade can make everyone better off. Markets are usually a good way to organize economic activity. Governments can sometimes improve economic outcomes, which gives me the three principles concerning economic interactions. Then we have the standard of living depends on a country's production. Prices rise when the government prints too much money. And society faces a short-term trade-off between inflation and unemployment. So these are the three principles that describe how the economy works as a whole. 
and in total we have the 10 principles of economics 